Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York. Today, we are going to call for the resignation of a particular person at the Department of Sanitation, and her name is, drumroll, Teresa Neal. Okay? Okay, folks, this is the person. This person's got to go. This person, total dereliction of duty. We're going to roll the tape so you know who Miss Neal is. She's the uh, director of... <laughs> Equity, diversity, and inclusion, which <laughs> they're, they're really what, what she is. is she's the, she's a, kind of an attack dog for Garcia. So let's see who she is. My name is Teresa Neal. I'm the director of the Office of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. She basically, basically what, what this person did was, I'm going to put up a clip. This guy right here, Mr. Amiskita. When I went down there and complained, I went back um, and tried to tried to clear it up. I told I went down there and I told Miss Neal that you know Mr. Peppy screamed at me in the middle of a boardroom. He attacked me in front of six um, six other employees, and nothing was done about it. She basically said, "Well, you have to learn how to get along. You gotta." She basically wanted me to kiss Peppy's ass and, and make up. All right, so long story short, Peppy got fired a week later. He was gone. Well, he announced his, his resignation or whatever. And um, also, Greenwood, he's the other one. This is Greenwood. This guy was, um, he had left about a month before, right? He, he had left right around the time that I had, I had, um, gone down to Miss Neal. This guy left too. And, um, you know, and what's her My name? name is Teresa, Teresa Neal. I'm the director of the Office of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. Talking about this guy, Kling, Klingler, right here, as being, oh, you should go talk to Mr. Klingler. Go talk to Captain Chief Klingler, okay? And then, the, of course, there's Pascal right here. She's the, she is and always has been protagonist number one. She's the, the, the instigator in the whole thing. And here you see her unsatisfactory uh, falsified record right here where she basically crossed out. Um, she basically initially gave me satisfactory and then for the overall training and then um, circled unsatisfactory, checked it off, put an X there, and then signed her name to it back in March. So I brought this all to, to you know, to... O'Neill's um, attention. My name is Teresa Neal. I'm, and she basically ignored it. She, there was not nothing ever done. E equal opportunity, employ, uh, uh, office, total farce, total fake. And this clip right here, this guy right here again, Amiskita, Mr. Amiskita, gave this statement right here. He gave this false statement to EEO. Uh, Director Miss O'Neill, and he said, Lieutenant stated that DSNY does not have a quota of tickets to be written on a daily basis. Agents are never instructed to write a certain number of summonses. Now, okay, this is a profanity alert. Profanity alert. Okay, if you don't like, if you don't like cursing and you don't like, turn it off. I'll give you a minute. Okay. Do you think? Let me ask you a question. Do you think that we are all fucking stupid? Do you think? Miss Neal and 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 Mr. Vito Terso going on television telling the public that there is no quota. Mr. Klingler, okay, Mr. Klingler, Mr. Amosquito, Miss Garcia, Mayor De Blasio. Do you, do you think we're all just fucking stupid and nobody knows what you're doing? You you have a thirty year you have a, an agency for thirty years that has been running the public over running the public over with an illegal ticket quota and you've been caught doing it and you're still you're sending this guy Vito Terso out on, out into the public on national television telling people lying to the people of New York City that there is no quota that that everything is just fine that that this guy Conti is some sort of some sort of disgruntled employee that he's angry you think I'm angry now you think I'm angry now <laughs> you think I'm angry now okay my name is Teresa Neal. I'm okay. So, so profanity alert is over. I'm back to being myself. All right. So, 
again, this person, um, because it's a chain reaction, okay? If you're just a regular employee at the Department of Sanitation and you have a problem, you go, you reach out, you reach out to people, you reach out to, 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 uh, EEO and you say, please help me. These people, they're, they're, there's something wrong here. I don't know what, what the hell's going on. Okay, why are they attacking me? It's not just me. It's rampant. It's a rampant problem. And what they do is instead of helping you, they come and they stick the knife in your back. Okay, and this is ringleader number one. This, this woman, I had a two-hour conversation with her in her office. Okay. My name is Teresa Neal. I'm and Miss Neal, you know what was said. Right? I, I told you about the quota. I told you about these individuals lying, cheating, and stealing. And you did nothing. And you still are doing nothing. You need to, you need to go away. Okay? You need to resign. You need to resign, Ms. Ms. Neal. Okay? You know, you know the truth. The truth is out. This guy came into your office and, and it was one lie after another. And you know the truth and you're doing nothing about it. Okay? My name is Teresa Neal. I'm the Director of the Office of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion.